Okay, we're going to look at solving another non-homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation. Uh, so the left-hand side of this differential equation is the same as in the last few videos, just to save some time so we don't have to keep rethinking how to solve that part that we already know how to do. So I've written down the y8 here that we would have gotten from finding the characteristic values from the characteristic polynomial. And we're ready to start thinking about making our guess for undetermined coefficients. And so when you make that guess, you're going to start by paying attention to the function that's on the right-hand side of the differential equation. And you want to think about that function and all of its derivatives. So e to the negative t is a function. And then its derivative is negative e to the negative t. And then the derivative of that is e to the negative t. And we just keep getting e to the negative t and negative e to the negative t. So this is a perfect kind of problem to use undetermined coefficients for because this function and all of its derivatives are just constant multiples of e to the negative t. So I would start, perhaps, by thinking about guessing yp equals a e to the negative t. But then the next thing to check is to determine if your guess has any duplication with the functions that are in your yh. And you should notice that in the yh, I have e to the negative t. And so I have that same function showing up in both my guess and in the two functions that I've used to generate my homogeneous solution. So because I have this duplication, that's when I need to modify my guess. If you don't, and you just make this guess, and you substitute into the differential equation, you will end up with a false equation that can't be true for any value of a. So you want to think about if you notice that that happens when you make a guess and you substitute in, you have a false equation, perhaps you forgot to modify your guess here. So this is not actually what I'm going to use for my guess. I need to modify it. So this is the first one we've looked at that did that. So if you look back at your notes, what it says is that you want to multiply your guess by the smallest power of the independent variable, t, smallest power of t, that makes this function avoid duplication. So in this case, I'm going to multiply my guess by just t. We'll look at another example where we have to multiply by something different. But just multiplying by that t makes this function a different function than that e to the negative t. So the smallest power of t, in this case, I multiplied by t to the first power. That, that gets you out of duplication with your yh. Notice if you had a repeated zero for your characteristic polynomial, maybe you would have the same function occurring twice here or something, and so you would need to multiply by a higher power of t. So this is not what I'm going to use for my guess. This is what I'm going to use for my guess. All right, from there, though, and we're going to proceed just like before. I'm going to take the appropriate derivatives, substitute into the differential equation, and come up with a system of equations. So you're going to need to use some product rule here. All right, so again, check. Make sure you took your derivative correctly there. And then the second derivative negative a to e to the negative t for the derivative of this first term. And then I'll need product rule on the second term. So the derivative of this first part here will just be minus a e to the negative t. And then minus a t times the derivative of e to the negative t. I'll get an extra negative out front. So plus a t e to the negative t. And you might notice you ended up here with some like terms if you would like to combine them before you substitute into the differential equation. Uh, sometimes that's helpful. And for sure, if I was going to take more derivatives, if I had a third order differential equation or something like that, and I was going to take more derivatives, I would for sure simplify before I took more derivatives. OK, from there, we're going to just substitute into the differential equation. Uh, so substituting in, and we're going to keep track of the minus 3 and the minus 4, distribute those through. All right, so for the y double prime, we'll have minus 2a e to the negative t plus a t 
e to the negative t. And then minus 3 times y prime careful to make sure you write these down correctly, all the minus signs and everything. Otherwise, uh, you'll end up with errors in your coefficient. All right, so there I've substituted in. I've got my y double prime minus 3y prime plus uh, minus 4y. And then that's all going to be equal to e to the negative t. And then I want to simplify the left side a little bit. Perhaps uh, you might notice that there are some terms that cancel. I've got a minus 4 a t e to the negative t and a plus 3 plus 3 a t e to the negative t and a plus 1 a t e to the negative t. So my t e to the negative t terms will all add up to 0 on that left side. And so we'll just get minus 2a e to the negative t minus 3a e to the negative t. So minus 5a e to the negative t equals e to the negative t. All right, so uh, we just set our coefficients equal. Minus 5a equals 1, so a is negative 1 fifth. And so there we have our yp. Be sure you look back at the correct thing for your yp and don't grab the wrong thing if you happen to write down the guess. I usually cross it out if I'm going to modify my guess so I don't accidentally go back and put my a in there. Um, but oh, minus one fifth. <laughs> but uh, we can go ahead and write down our general solution now for the differential equation. So we have our yh. plus our yp, uh, minus 1 fifth t e to the negative t. And if you had initial values, this would be the time to use them to find a particular solution uh, with the parameters, the constants c1 and c2. All right, we'll look at one more video where we have to modify the guess a little bit more and in a little bit more complicated way, so be sure to watch that one as well.